Hey guys, it's King Shadow Rangers, and I'm here doing my third commentary video. Today it is a 3 vs 3 on Italian grassland, and I command the Prussians, while my on my right flank, my friend Scott will command the British, and the Danish Royal Guard over here will also command the British. My opponents, Ferdinand the second or third of Spain, will command Austria, while Costas will command the Prussians as well as me, and guys will uh, command the French. So, basically, I'm using my same army setup that I usually use, which is five Prussian Fusiliers with eight Musketeers and two Foot Guards. And then back here I have two Curiosers with a General Staff. So basically, I rush the hill to begin the battle because high ground always wins against low ground unless, unless the low ground has some advantage, such as unit characteristics or something. So, once I get up on the hill, I begin to set up a defense. This building system. has fallen to the enemy! By putting my civilians up on the border right there. So they uh, shoot at whatever unit passes by, the ones where they block the little entrance up to the top of the hill, and then two on the flank. And then my line, or my line infantry starts to move up on the hill into the position as well. Over here, the Danish Royal Guard uses this hill to his advantage, covering the flank from my, uh, from Ferdinand's cavalry. And then over here, Scott begins to try and get a flanking maneuver on his right side, as you can see with those units. So I start to move all of my soldiers up onto the hill. And I use some to cover up this light infantry unit. then firefight breaks out over here between his skirmishers and his light infantry. So my opponent has five units that looks like of the Villiers, just like me. He backs them up with musketeers, and then he has his elite units back here. And some more musketeers. While Gaz over here will just try and get a circle going so that can't be flanked. He charges his cavalry in there to take out some of the native players on his slide infantry. And I set up uh, I think it's formidable. I set up a pretty formidable event. So I'll move my cavalry right in the center of it. And I am not giving up that hill no matter what. So he goes into the building but then gets out and starts to try and take this little area right there in the woods. And he also rushes his soldiers over here. While Scott 
It's still trying to get the point. And it's another stare down between my guys up on the hill and his guys over here. And then they get the move toward God over there. So he gets his troops into that building. And one thing I've noticed is that it is really hard to get troops out of buildings if you don't have artillery. So, if there's ever a game that you join where there's no artillery, try and take a bullet. And then, Ferdinand moves his Austrian forces over here, and he starts to move over toward my hill. There's a cat charge, and then Royal Guard, uh, and then History Guard, Guard. Basic curiosity. And they're almost in their range right there. So they begin to move my Scott is still trying to get that point while Cook is sending his troops to help fill the circle gap. And then the so at this point in the battle, I see Ferdinand moving toward my hill trying to take it. And I see a huge collection of troops up there. But since they're not moving toward me, I have no reason to worry about them. But over here, I do have a reason to worry. Because whenever I get attacked, I'm always worried. So, I'm just unloading on these guys of my hand, the foot guards and the auxiliaries. And then my left flank ally pretty much takes this area right here and can move around. So Ferdinand has no choice but to move this way. Or back. But he chooses this way to move that way. He starts to take shots at me. But he's just too fast to be affected. My life is the truth taking shots at these guys trying to get over there. So when he starts to move that way, I think about moving this unit over to help him. But, I don't want to give them a chance to destroy this unit and then overpower the these guys. So I keep them there. And they start to attack from this way and the front. So, my light infantry is firing. Protecting the front. And also, my left flank is also covered by the Danish Royal Guard. So. And just in case y'all are confused, that's his name, it's not a unit. We've killed their troops. Now they must break! 
and my guys begin to fire line of the tree. I need to take the map and trying to take it. You know. The Ferdinand General is dead. And he's losing a lot of damage uh, to morale right here. Charges up the hill. Taking the And their fire isn't effective right there because when they're shooting, these guys are crouched. They shoot and they kick up right there. So I'm not taking any casualties, basically, and they're taking lots. And they turn to face my ally, and they break under my fire. I call this the Ranger defense in case were wondering. I've never lost all you can. So I'm taking lots of shots on this guy. There's part of the Jaeger. And they're taking casualties. And so basically all of Ferdinand's troops are wiped out at this point. He does have a few scattered units everywhere, but not enough to be effective. And over here Scott is still moving to flank him. He's had a few casualties along the way. And that unit is just being destroyed right now. And so, he moves... I have this guy move his troops over to try and get behind Costas so that we can use all three armies instead of just two. troops on the hill just until he has time to move his guys out. Taking out these last few units, Scott is preparing his lines and such to move forward, and he's also getting around, spreading his lines out pretty far just to try and get around guys and coast his lines. He's taking his casualties. 